Crawford? Yeah, he just quit. Uh, you never put that together? I never watched it. that's fun. Follow me this time. Okay. Okay. Live action role playing. Basically, all we do. Well, it is all we do. Now, this is where we're going to set up our hide site. We have we're going to start gathering up our vegetation. And we're going to build it up towards the objective over back. here, okay? We'll be yeah. So, we're going to get a lot of grass, bring it in, and set up our screen, okay? Go ahead. Let's keep that coming. Writing bad things about him on the internet. Is that, was it his name Stein? Was it? No. Wasn't he like a. Uh, and then like yeah. Like post -post 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 -post. You hear about the guy that uh, drove trucks in Iraq for like three years and then was mad that he didn't get to kill anyone so he started killing people back home? Screen. Make your window. Now you don't want to be too big. Just enough so your barrel can go yeah, through, and you can yeah, see got, through with the scope. If there's some in front of the scope, that's okay. Alright. Just leave it there. There you go. So now we got our window through to the objective site through our screen. Alright, so we're holding our position here. You can observe the objective, you can take shots on targets that you need to. You're able to see through your screen, you can burn through the brush. Your scope's not exposed, your barrel's not exposed, it's still inside the brush, so you can take shots through at targets that appear, or we can observe. Really, they have a lot more experience in the jungle, obviously, us being focused more on Iraq and Afghanistan, the desert types of settings. So it was good to be able to see what they do and then also show them as far as our patrolling tactics, you know, what we do patrolling in and making a hide site to get eyes on an objective area. So that's kind of what we really focused on today. Uh, they're really warm, receptive, you know, willing to share ideas, are interested in what we have to share with them. Uh, it's been a all around good experience, I think, to be able to, you know, train with someone, whether it's from, you know, the Iraq, Afghanistan setting to now with uh, more of the NATO forces here with the Phil Mars. It, it's been a good experience.